Hello again, everybody. I'd like to take this moment to wish you all guys a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And also a New Year. So with that being said, I think we should do something special for this occasion. That's if I ever get to upload them on Christmas Day. So anyway, let's, let's go. You know where we're at? That's right, we're at the Morgan Washington Garage in downtown Butler, Pennsylvania. And you know what's here? You know what's here? Looks like someone left a blanket down here. That's right. It's a Dover banner resistant elevator. In this video, you can get to enjoy this ride in 720p, 60 frames per second. Excuse me, Paul. That's sorry for some of the frame rate loss. But anyway, let's. Our clothes actually works. We all know it like that. So let's take a look at these fixtures. Adam Survivor Plus. There's a phone in here, though. Yeah, I really don't want to touch it, though, but. There we go, ADA compliant phone. Someone wrote some. Someone's Vimy was here. Well, that's new. But anyway, uh, so anyway, there's the indicator and there's the emergency light. So let's start all right on this. Whoa! Holy shit! This thing's gotten worse. This is bouncy, 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 bouncy. I don't even want to set my camera on the floor in this thing because God knows who did what in here. Okay, so, you know, let's give a view of the city as well. Okay, so, anyway, as you can see, they replaced the uh, parking lights up here with these insanely bright LED lights. Trying, that's good, that's good. Trying to be environmental friendly. Of course, we all know that's the back of the Troutman's building, also known as Cycle Warehouse. There's the former Montgomery Ward, now Holly Point. There's the courthouse. Well, that's the courthouse over there, though, if I can get a better look on it. Anyway, so there's the, uh, there's the, uh, Union Savings Trust Building, uh, Butler Union Savings Building, whatever you want to call it also known as PNC Bank. There's the new Rite Aid Pharmacy, which it got done last year, which I heard now is soon gonna become a Walgreens. Like, seriously, why couldn't they wait it out? Over there, we got the YWCA. And if I can look, and if you can look in a distance, I believe you can see the YMCA as well, right there. It's right about there. So, There's the former post office, also known as the park building. I don't know, I think they might be relocating though, so who knows. Of course, we got the new prison, and the government center, and this new annex with Schindler Free for the Yays! Oh boy! And there's the courthouse. Let's see what I can see from up here. Okay, let's see what I can see from up here. Right. This is probably the only public parking garage I can actually, only public place, easiest elevator to record in Butler. Right there. Oh, lights are on inside the annex. I mean, seriously, I want your opinion. Doesn't this building look so ugly? It's like bland, you know? It's like, and they were claiming it was going to be fancy and stuff, you know? It's just boring. Even the interior is somewhat boring. Compared to the part of the government center that was, well, the older part of the government center, which dates back to uh, circa 1990-91, that has the Westinghouse RTs from 1990. Sorry, Aaron. I mean, it was around the merger, or around the time, you know, because they were having, you know, selling some other elevators from Westinghouse, you know, or something like that. I don't know how the story goes. Here's our beautiful courthouse built in 1885. Uh, Butler Landmark, the tallest building in downtown Butler so far till I don't know what else is going to be built. 
And there's the old Butler Eagle printing press factory. And of course, that's the Butler Eagle's main office as well, also. I don't know if I showed you the prison over there, though. Yeah, it's just the prison. Oh, I love the zoom on this thing, you know? <laughs> that's kind of cool, huh? God, these lights are extremely bright. I mean, look at them. They're actually LED, okay? See? Kind of comes up a different color on here, though. But anyway. So let's return back to the elevator. Oh, yeah, and there's the tallest building in Butler right there, floor wise. Uh, the townhouse, right? The Butler townhouse, right about. Oh, folks. Right about where I'm pointing, right there, that building in the distance there, before the hill. Okay, so, anyway, let's get back to the elevator. Huh. This definitely must have been traction, because how can I, but, I mean, this has got to be, was at one point a deep traction. Matter of fact, I even remember it was probably traction back in the day. And they used to have like 70s, 60s, 70s Dover black buttons, you know? Like this was the call station right here. And there probably was another elevator here also in there. Which explains why this call panel, call station was right here. I should remember it when it was there. And of course we got this piece of shit now. Uh, I don't think those are preheat though. That one needs to be replaced. Let's see what the fuck this thing is going to pull on me now. Excuse my language for swearing on the Lord's birthday. Okay, here we go. Excuse me, Bob. The frame rate decrease thing. Let's see if they replace all the lights in the indicator now. Still, two is out. Okay. See? Dover! 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 See? You want to prove you validate more. This is a Dover because we also got a I also got a flashlight from my grandmother so let's take a look oh yeah Dover blue right there oh I don't see 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 the blue in the shaft see yep there's the Dover interlock Dover blue so anyway we're done with this someone left their blanket here Afghan so there goes and that's it Oh, isn't it? I think it's cycling the oil. Whatever this is called. I don't know what it's called, though. Preskeski mode, whatever. I don't know. So, anyway, that will be it.